So the director gives you only an all-out name written on, on the translucent, bright green wall, you know, I'll go there every week. So some, uh, some of the lads were having a bit of fun at first. And I got up and looked round, I couldn't see anybody. Nobody hiding in the bushes in the distance or behind any gravestones. I walked up the slope and I heard it coming directly. It was like in a wonderland, you know, like a miracle happening. It's on this grave and it said, uh, Bronislaw Zapolsky. I always remember that. I was awestruck. It was like an echoing voice, echoing, superimposed upon itself. Couldn't confide in anybody, my mother or Sonia or anybody, between me and God. Of course, outside college in Bradford, I still looked a, a bit surprised to see me and I walked her home and I was asking her about this person that gave her a lift and she, she wouldn't tell me anything because she thought, I, I, she thought, why don't I trust her, you know? And I told her that Mick had seen her two or three days before going on so Bingley in the car in my nose. <laughs> really having a go, you know, to find out what was going on. And she wouldn't answer. So I thought of something fishy. She would just uh, couldn't believe that I'd, I'd doubt her, you know, because she expected me to trust her, you see. And it was like a bull in a china shop. I should have been a bit more casual about it. So that's